Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Juris. I bet you're wondering, what is this? This is something that young people can do as a gift for people, uh, parents or grandparents, or you can do it for yourself. And you can do it in so many different ways. All you need is acrylic paint and varnish, spray varnish, and a piece of old flooring tile. What you do is you paint the underside of the flooring tile in just a, um, a solid color of anything you want just to seal the underside and then you can make whatever kind of pattern you want out of it. In this case I had done the drawing ahead of time in my sketchbook then I painted the whole thing bright red. With the pencil I put these quite perfect squares, more diamonds on here. And what these marks are, are actually a flower that I dipped in the acrylic paint and punched it on here. And then to give it a wee bit of contrast, I put a little bit of gold paint in a few of these squares in order to give it a little bit of life. After you're done with that, you spray varnish it or you put painted varnish on it but it's better to spray it because then your paintbrush doesn't get into the acrylic. So that's one of the things to do it. There are people who will take large pieces of linoleum or flooring and they will make a flooring mat to go under a dining room table and they charge a fortune for them to buy them. I just took samples from a store that they were getting rid of them and I had asked do you have any samples you're throwing out and on the backs of each of the samples, I just took acrylic house paint and painted the backs of them so that you would get something like that. And I must have put this paint on the other side as well, so both sides. Then you start playing around with your designs. These still need varnish. Now here's one where I let the paint kind of blow around, it's sort of a little watered down. And when I was done, I realized that in here, I could sort of see an elephant. If you can see it, here's the eye and the trunk and the big ears and the, the tail. Then I used along here in between each of these lines, I use a strong black magic marker and we've got this design and I decided okay I think I'm gonna like some red peppers here's my red pepper floor mat and these have not been varnished yet they're they're incomplete I see I've signed this one upside down but you can understand the imagination that you can do and for the kids in school why not trace the outline of your hands and your feet color the feet with different colors do your background and then outline it afterwards with black magic marker this is a really nice way um, to get a little floor mat you can put it in the bathroom after it's varnished and i've used this you can see i've used the flower stamp in here i've done a few little swirls show you up close there's a swirl there's that flower again that I stuck in the the paint and then just put it on here but this would be something that the kids could do and all you need is some samples from your local carpet store to make these up I do have another 20 in the other room but I just grabbed the top four so there you are with a nice craft or for kids or if you want to do a big floor mat for a dining room you would then really have to take out your design work and you'd be putting in all kinds of borders and different things in the middle but the uh, possibilities are just unlimited please subscribe see you again soon bye